Hey guys, I don't know about you, but I'm hungry for some type of sports content. So I thought, why not reach out to some of your favorite local athletes? Today, I talked to Billikens basketball player Hassan French. He's back home with his family, and we went over everything that he's doing right now and his plans moving forward. Hassan, first, let's get started. How are you doing right now during all this? Uh, pretty good. Just trying to stay in uh, shape and stay in condition. Today, I went for a jog and did some at-home workouts and things like that because uh, you never know when you have to be ready. Um, it, it's something that's very new. It's nothing that uh, ever happened before, so you never know what's going to happen any given day. You can get a call saying, hey, we got to come back or, hey, uh, you got to make this move or that move. So I'm just trying to keep myself prepared and um, hopefully some gyms will open up soon. And I know you mentioned that you worked out today. So is that at home workouts right now? Yeah, just jogging outside, going for runs, uh, push ups, sit ups, things like that. Things I can do to uh, keep my body ready. But yeah, it's not the same, but you know, try to work as hard as I can. So let's walk back to last week because I saw you guys last week and we were talking about you guys getting ready for the Atlantic 10 tournament. You guys are about to fly out. And of course, as we know, a lot has changed since then. And how did they break the news to you guys? Because I saw you guys were practicing that day. We were practicing um, right before we got the news. Um, Mid-practice coach said, um, everybody bring it in. I thought we were transitioning into another drill, but he said, hey guys, um, they canceled the tournament. Um, looks like like everything is over. You guys, we got to go back to the hotel and pack everything up and um, see where we go from there. But as practice was going on, um, there were rumors going around like during practice saying, yeah, the Big East uh, tournament is canceled, the ACC is canceled. And I was just thinking, we're still going to play. Like, we're the A10, we're going to play. Everything's going to be fine. Um, but then we got the news, and it was just shocking. You being a team leader of this group, how did you help? your teammates through this because I mean I'm sure it's just it's a lot of shock for everybody including yourself but being a team leader you had to kind of step into a different role into that situation to help these guys through it yeah for sure I, I just try to tell everybody how proud I was of them and uh how, how good they did this year and how close uh we all got together this year um I feel like we accomplished a lot this year and I, I just really tried to make sure that uh even from the coaches I tried to tell everybody how proud I was of them and um, how much I really care for everybody and how special this year was going to be and how special it was. Um, but I, I feel like everybody understood. Um, but it's something that's very new, so they, everybody kind of, you know, took it very well. And um, I think everybody just was happy that uh, we were all together when we heard the news and that we, we, we had something very special. What's the next step for you right now? What, what are you doing right now? And what are your plans? I mean, obviously you're a junior, so what are your plans moving forward? Moving forward, I'm just trying to stay as ready as I can. I'm trying to find out um, as much information as I can about what's next for basketball in general, because um, you never know what's going to happen next. Um, you never know what's going to happen. You see things going on with the NBA and college basketball, and a bunch of guys transferring, and so many things is going on. Um, but the best thing I can do is for myself, I just say is stay ready and um, Whatever my like the chance is for us to play basketball again, just get out there and, and, and get myself prepared and back in condition. So do you see yourself coming back for your senior year at SLU or have you thought about NBA? Um, not sure yet. Uh, I'm going to talk about it with my family and, and Coach Ford and, and things like that. Um, but it's just so it's so crazy uh, with everything that's going on. You never know if there's even going to be a, a, a NBA draft or a workout. So you just never know what's going to happen. Um, but uh yeah, I just got to talk to my family, talk to coach, and just go from there once everything blows over. Is there anything that you're doing besides working out to pass the time right now? Because, I mean, myself included, I'm, like, struggling during quarantine because I just oh, yeah. always am out doing things and stuff. So yeah. anything that you're doing to pass the time? It, it, it's, I'm struggling, too. I'm struggling, too. I'm, I'm just now I'm on TV trying to look and scramble for games. Then I, I, I go on TV. I go on CBS, and uh, Dayton's playing Colorado. So, um it's it's crazy. I'm just trying to, you know, I watch, I'm watching my own highlights, my own games and uh, the games from past uh, just now before the call and things like that and watching the NBA guys and things like that. I've just been trying to watch anything basketball I can, but um, it, it's really tough with everything going on. So just Netflix and just relaxing with the family.